I refer to Miss Virginia Mayo. Also appearing on our program today is the syndicated columnist, Mr. Lee Graham. And now, here's your host, the man of the half hour, Skip E. Lowe. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Looking at Hollywood. Today we have a very interesting Hollywood talk show for you. We have one of Hollywood's most glamorous and beautiful young ladies, and she is a star, a true legendary star, Miss Virginia Mayo. Hello, Virginia. How are you, darling? Hello, Skip. How are you? God, you look great. Thank you. You look wonderful. Tell me something. You started as a dancer. Yes, I did. And that's way back in New York at the Diamond Horse Show, was it? Well, I didn't start there. I'd started in my hometown as a dancer, taking instructions. In and your home, I, hometown? Where is that? St. Louis, Missouri. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And then I joined the Muni Opera in St. Louis, which was the first thing I did professionally, you know, after studying for five or six years. Uh-huh. And then I went to New York. Uh, no, first I, I joined it an act, uh-huh. which... Uh, a horse. They, right. A horse act. They uh-huh. saw me in St. Louis, and they wanted me to join their act, so I did. And um, toured the country uh-huh. with this horse act. And we got <laughs> into many shows in, in New York. And finally, we, we landed in Billy Rose's Diamond Horseshoe, right. where Billy Rose really showcased me so m- good that I got a lot of offers for uh-huh. Hollywood. Uh-huh. And so, that's where Samuel Golden discovered you, really. Samuel Golden came down to the, the nightclub. Uh-huh. And then he wanted to see me in his office uh-huh. the next day, mm-hmm. which, of course, I did. Right. I was very excited about meeting the great Samuel Goldwyn. Goldwyn. At that time, right, right. So I went to see him, and he screen tested me and uh, signed me to a seven-year contract. Mm-hmm. Was your name Virginia Mail then? Yes. It was, always mm-hmm. Virginia Mail. Huh? Mm-hmm. I see. And he signed you to a seven-year contract? Yes. I see. And, and Which what? I uh, f- did five years with Samuel Goldwyn, uh-huh. doing some wonderful pictures. I mean, they were all fabulous, because Goldwyn would never do a picture unless he he did it exactly right many right. times he would do retakes or even tear down a set that he didn't care mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. because he was a perfectionist he was oh yes that's the kind of man he really was well i was very yes he was really that way uh-huh. and he he wanted the best on the screen for the public. he wasn't just tough uh, for his entertainers or his actors. Oh, no, no. He, was, he, he, he was, wanted the best for them. He wanted perfection on that screen, and mm-hmm. by golly, he got it. Mm-hmm. Most of the time, he got it. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I did so many great pictures uh-huh. for Goldwyn. Uh-huh. In my what was your day. first? What was your first one? The Goldwyn picture? Yes, uh-huh. the uh, uh, The Princess and the Pirate was my first. Who was uh, that? Bob Hope. Bob Hope, I see. Yeah, Bob Hope, and it was... Wonderful thing for a, a newcomer to get a great role like that. Right. Uh-huh. I, that's most girls are not we're not as lucky as I. But uh-huh. I want to tell you this: I went on the road for four and a half years working hard uh-huh. because I didn't want to be discovered sitting somewhere in. In I had to be discovered in action. In right. other words, you right. know what I mean? Right. Because uh, that's when I knew that uh, I could do my best, mm-hmm. and I could. They could see that I had talent by me being active, doing something when a scout saw me or whatever. I see. And what was your second film, Virginia? Um, Wonder Man, opposite Wonder Danny Man with Danny Kaye was Kay. one of my favorite yeah. movies. I love that. That was a Samuel Golden movie. I thought that was a, a Columbia movie. I don't know why. No, that all, was, that all was, Danny Kaye's films were made by really? Golden. Golden? Um, I didn't know. I don't know why I got Columbia mixed up. Uh, after Princess and the Pirate, I did Wonder Man, Kid from Bro- Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Secret Life of Walter Mitty, and last was A Song is Born. Kid from Brooklyn was with uh, Red Skelton, was that? Or who was that? Danny Kaye. Danny all those Kay? I just men- mentioned. Was that all Danny Kaye's films? Yes. You've been in how many Danny Kaye's movies? Four. Four. Mm-hmm. What kind of man Danny Kaye was? He's mm-hmm. such a, a, do- a great talent. But well, Danny was a little moody. Uh, well, the, he was always had Sylvia, uh, you know, his wife, his, his wife yeah. Sylvia mm-hmm. Fine, who was the creator of all his material, and she was constantly uh, providing him with this material. Mm-hmm. And Danny was seemed to be uh, not not happy a lot of the time. He wasn't happy. Didn't seem like to me. Uh, he was moody, you know. Mm-hmm. But I just loved Danny. I've always loved him. Uh-huh. And yeah. then, what, then you moved to, uh, didn't you move to Warner Brothers? After five years with Goldwyn, I right. moved to Warner Brothers, mm-hmm. and I stayed there ten wonderful years. Ten years at Warner's. Ten what years. kind of man was Frank Warner? Jack Warner. Jack Warner. Yeah, right. What kind of man was Jack? <laughs> he was a bon vivant. Was he? <laughs> loved life and loved his success, and he would go to France every year and gamble uh-huh. at Cannes. Did he like He had a house there. Uh-huh. He had a marvelous 
gorgeous house in Beverly Hills, mm -hmm. which I attended his parties almost every Saturday night. Hollywood and parties. Was, Hollywood parties, and they were uh -huh. just fabulous. Uh -huh. Of course, Jack Warner was, uh, he loved to make jokes. He would make everybody get up after dinner and, and make a statement, some kind of a joke. Mm -hmm. And he Someone would, had to get up. He, yes, uh -huh. they'd make you get up and say it, do an act. Uh -huh, right, right. <laughs> but Jack Warner was full of fun. And uh, what was your second film at, at Warner Brothers? Um, James Cagney, wasn't it? Something with James. White Heat. White I guess, Heat was, was one of my first ones. Great movie. No, the, closer the, to the beginning than that was uh, the girl from Jones Beach, Jones opposite Beach. to right. Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan, right? You did with Ronald Reagan, huh? I did another one with him. Did, did two you? with him? Really? Mm -hmm. What kind of man was Ronald Reagan at that time in Hollywood? I mean, in Hollywood today, Mr. we know what Ronald Reagan really like. Is still Mr. Nice Guy. Is he? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you, you, find, you, you find Ronald Reagan a, a great president, Virginia? Be honest. Yes. You do? Yes. You find him as a, a great president? Yes. I see. Okay. I won't, I won't touch that. But, no, uh, we better not. <laughs> <laughs> but I do, I do know that uh, my favorite movie you did was with James Cagney, The White Heat. White Heat. That's a great movie. What year yes. was that in Virginia? Um, 1949. 40, 49, was mm -hmm. it? Was, no, yeah, it was 49. That mm -hmm. was a great movie. You did a lot of films at Warner Brothers. How many did you do with James Cagney? Two. Two? Mm -hmm. What other was that with James? West Point Story. West Point. It was That's a right. musical yeah. in 1950. Uh-huh. Yes, fun. and you were also worked with Paul Newman, another great actor. Well, when Paul came from New York, he was brought by the studio, and I was already set to play the lead in The Silver Chalice. Chalice, right. Well, they brought this young fella in and said, would you make a test with this man? Mm -hmm. And I said, sure, I'd be happy to. So we did a test. So you made a test with Paul Newman. Did the test with Paul, and um, mm -hmm. it was his very first time, and mm -hmm. he was a little, you know, awkward. Mm -hmm. Well, they said, we'd like to do another test mm -hmm. with Paul, but would, would you work with the coach with him? Uh -huh. Because he needed something, you know. Uh -huh. And we worked together with the coach, came back and did another test. Uh -huh. And then they said, this is, the, this is the one. We want him for the lead. Paul Newman. So then he did the lead in the picture. And that was his first picture. Opposite Start me. it with you, right, right. Best years of our lives. Now tell me about that. Well, that, that was one, a golden picture. That was a golden picture, right. It was way back in the... That was 47. A, that was Academy Award. Academy, it won nine Oscars. It did. It was a great motion picture. You were wonderful. Yeah. That was back in 1946, was it, you say? 47. 47? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Back to your musicals. How many musicals did you do in here in Hollywood? I, th well, not including the Danny Kaye picture, right. where there were comedies, but I didn't do any, you could call them musical uh -huh. comedies, but I didn't perform in them or right. anything. I. Mm -hmm. My musical career really started at Warner Brothers at when Warner's, I got there because I told them I wanted to dance. And so pitch. actually, Samuel Golden was comedy mostly. That's that, right. Yeah, That's I right. see. I see. But James Cagney and all those wonderful movies uh, back in Warner Brothers that were musicals then. I did about six musicals at uh -huh. Warner's. Uh -huh. Dance with Gene Nelson most of the time. What do you think of Hollywood today, Virginia? I mean, uh, well. What do you think of our young performers today, first of all? Oh, they're excellent. They're wonderful. Mm -hmm. There's so much competition. I mean, they just have to fight to get roles, and they do anything, you know, to further their careers. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. I but, certainly don't. Uh -huh. But do you think we have any ri good writers out there, though? See, that's... I think we lack good writers. We I do lack. We need, yes. Yeah. We need some good writers, because that's the backbone of the industry. Right. Good right. stories. Because when you grew up in the business, they, they had, had stories. They had stories. stories. They don't have it today, do they? No, not often. Like the Crawfords and the, and the Davises and stuff. Not really a good movie. Well, yeah. they have movies that are different, you know. Space. Space. Everything is space. And so, well, my big fault with the movies these days yeah. is that you can't hardly see them. They're so dark and so badly lit. Uh -huh. And I don't know, I keep telling that to everyone I meet. Mm -hmm. Is Do you find that so? And they they, they haven't even thought about it. Uh -huh. But some people do concur that that is the problem with a lot of movies, mm -hmm. that they're not well lit. How about television? What do you think of TV today? Marvelous. You do like it? It's the marvelous. The stories and... The stories are interesting. The photography is excellent because mm -hmm. they know, they realize that when their people are looking at their television set, they may have a bad set and it doesn't right, work right. well. And they're at least going to try to get it in focus and uh -huh. well photographed before they put it on the 
on the two. TV right now. You just got through doing the thing on Santa Barbara? Oh, yes, I did a, a soap opera called Santa Barbara, which uh -huh. I enjoyed thoroughly. It's on every day at 2 o'clock on Channel 4. Uh -huh. You're playing the fan? Oh, was it? Oh, playing? I was playing a <laughs> wonderful part. An ex-fan dancer. Ex-fan dancer, Virginia was, Mayo. I think that's was, great, Virginia. It was fun. It was it fun? Mm -hmm. When is it on every uh, day? Is well, it it's on every day, but I'm through with it. Are you? Yes. Uh -huh. Where are you from originally, you say? St. Louis, Missouri. St. Louis, Missouri. I see. I thought you were from New York. I don't know why I thought you were from New York. Did you do a Broadway show at all? Did you ever do a Broadway uh, show? A show called Banjo Eyes. Well, you did a Broadway show. Yes. <laughs> Banjo Eyes. That was uh -huh. with who? Was that in... Eddie Cantor was the star. Star Eddie mm -hmm. Cantor. Mm -hmm. Good God, Virginia. That's, that's a, a long time ago. <laughs> Good. Mm -hmm. How do you keep in shape? You look wonderful. How do you keep in shape? I don't think I'm in shape. I do. I think well, you look you. wonderful. Well, I, you look I know I'm not. <laughs> you look absolutely look wonderful, well, Virginia. thank you very much. You know, I have a young man I'm going to bring to the stage now. I'd like you to meet him. He's one of the Hollywood's uh, columnists. He writes, he has a Hollywood magazine. It's called Studio Magazine here. And he writes all the wonderful columns around Hollywood and around the his syndicated columnists. And his name is Lee Graham. I know Lee you know Graham. Lee? Very well, well. We're bring him on right now. Hello, Lee. Hello. Come on in. How are you? You know, you know Virginia. I did know. Know that. How are you, Lee? Fine. Good God. What do you? What does this mean, Hollywood Studio Magazine? I'm going to show the people. Right, what does that actually mean? Well, this magazine is actually dedicated to the heritage of movies. And we run pictures and stories on the stars of yesteryear who are really legends. Ah, I see. We don't have the newcomers. Newcomers. It's all, it's no all yesteryear. On the cover. <laughs> I see. Beautiful. This is great. Judy Garland, I see you have her in here, too, and John Wayne. What's, uh, and also you write for, what, what other papers do you write for? Well, I'm in a chain of Valley papers, which are the Herald Community Newspapers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They go throughout San Fernando Valley. Right. And then I'm also in Las Vegas, Palm Springs, uh -huh. and throughout the, I'm in another paper. Is your, is your paper, it's not gossip, is it? It's not like the No, it's more the social life. They refer to me as men yeah. about town. Like what, do you think of, what do you think of the gossip columns uh, talking about Hollywood stars, Virginia? Now, you're, you know, what do you think? You think I eat it up. You do like it? I love it. Do you really? <laughs> May not be true, but it's but fun to read. It is fun to read. Uh, what do you think about that? <laughs> Well, uh, you're, you're, you 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 don't do gossip work now. What do you think? Not about usually. It? Yeah, right. What do you think? I about used it? to. Oh, you did. Yeah. Well, then I was evil because what I didn't know I made up, and what I didn't know I added too. You have to be <laughs> evil to write a gossip. <laughs> you have to be well, a little bit cheap to write a gossip. Right? You have to get just a little bit catty. Yeah, right? yeah I think so. Bitches, you say. Right, right. And uh, where are you from originally? From Texas. From Texas. You don't have that Texas accent. Good God. That's because I wanted to be an actor. So after I got out of the Navy, I came here. Lee Graham, you wanted to be an actor here. I wanted here? to be an actor. In talkies. <laughs> really? <laughs> you came all to Hollywood when, uh, when year? Were that you? was when I got out of the Navy. That would have been 46. 46, I see. You came out here to be an actor. Did you do any films at all? Were you well, I did bit parts. In fact, I did a bit part in one of Virginia's films, The Secret really? Life of Walter Mitty. Ah, <laughs> did you really? How nice. That's it. What she doesn't remember it, but I met her on the set. Uh -huh. She was in a harem costume. Uh -huh. That was a great movie. That was funny. What part did you do? Yeah. I only did a bit in the background. Uh -huh. Danny Kay did one of his numbers. I worked a long time because it took so long to shoot it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So what do you think of the young Hollywood people today, Lee? You've been around here for a long time. What I've do you think? I've been around a long time, yeah. Right. What do you think of the youths? Well, it doesn't seem like it used to be. I'm more impressed with the, the real stars, the durable stars. That's what your magazine's really all about. That's what it's it? all about. And where do people get this? This a national, it's a national it is national. And it's on sale at most of the newsstands. Hollywood Studio Magazine. Hollywood Studio Magazine. It's a That's great right. magazine. It's really great. And uh, so, tell me more about your uh, column. You know, the Palm Springs thing. Where do you get all your dirt, really? <laughs> well, I go out a great deal, and frequently I'm lucky enough to have Virginia on my arm. You go out together, huh? Yes. Yeah, and where you go, you people? Like La Caja Fold to get all the dirt where all the other stars go, or what? Well, we've been there. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, we've been, uh, we just go to parties and uh -huh. showings. We even went on a trip for the film festival last year in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. the oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Mrs. Marcos. Uh -huh. What kind of woman was Mrs. Marcus? I met her, you know. What kind of woman was she? She was charming to was us. She? Yeah, she did was you meet Mrs. Marcus? Did you? Because yeah. I did the bases out there. I did the uh, Philippine base. Did you ever work in military shows? Uh, yeah. Never did shows for military, no. USOs or anything like Bob Hope's? No. Nope. Never gone on that. Virginia Mail, I would think you would have gone with Bob on... on uh, well, the war was practically over by the time I worked with Bob. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I see. Did you do any Bob Hope shows or... No. The, 
Because I know you, 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 do, uh, you do a club act, don't you, or something no. like that? You're just an actor. Well, at the time, I was an actor. I and see. I got out of that for only two weeks. There was a columnist named Fabina Wright. Do you remember mm -hmm. her? Yes, I do. And yes, I met Fabina well. at a party, and she said that her assistant I was going on vacation. Would yeah. I like to do it for two weeks? And I said, mm -hmm. fine, but I can't give up my career, so I'll do it for two weeks. Mm -hmm. Technically, I was her leg man, but she thought that sounded sexy, so she could only refer to me as her assistant. Ah, I see. And the, uh, her assistant never came back, so nine years later, even when she died, I was still her leg man. Uh -huh. And from there, mm -hmm. I got my own columns. I see. That's how you got it. Well, the background helped me. Uh -huh. She see. told me she was leaving it to me in her will, but they didn't go along with that. Mm -hmm. The Hearst people didn't. Do your mm -hmm. columns go to New York also? No. Just, Only just, just magazine. Just magazine. Oh, I see. Right. What would you tell young actors today how to prepare themselves, Virginia, when they come to Hollywood today? Well, it's so hard to tell them what to do. Uh, it is hard to tell them what to do. but Mainly but, yeah. they should uh, study diction and study voice. Yeah, but don't you think they should really have that determination first? They got to yes. have that determination. Well, that goes without saying. Yeah, right, right. That they should, but uh -huh. they should know something about acting or how their presence. Mm -hmm. That's m my fault with the young people today. They don't speak clearly. You can't understand what they're saying. They don't. Uh, yeah, that's you know, true. Mm -hmm. When you go to a movie or a theater, it's hard to understand. You just did a play, didn't you? Yes, I did. Yes, what was it? Uh, you, it was called you? Dear Jenny. Uh huh. And it was on Cannon Drive in the, the LA Hills. Stage Company West uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, Theater there. Uh -huh. I didn't see. I didn't see it. When was that? Just recently, or was it? It was in uh, February. I, th I see. How, how did you feel about doing plays? You like doing the shows, live theater? Oh, I've done a lot of. You have plays. done a lot of plays. In the past fifteen years, I've done dozens. Summer, dozens did you really? of really? Didn't yes. know that. That's mm -hmm. wonderful. I didn't know that. What's Virginia Mail doing now? What is she doing now? What is she preparing um, to do? I'm preparing a script for Remington Steel, a mm -hmm. television series that's on. Mm -hmm. I'll be doing that starting the 18th of this month, mm -hmm. and. Uh, Filming that, I just finished a, 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 a bit on a star role on um, Murder She Wrote, with Angela uh -huh. Lansbury, mm -hmm. which was fun. So Virginia, I'm, you seem kind of happy. Are you happy? Yeah, I'm very happy. Person. Are you? You seem I very always happy. Been you very don't, do you smoke or drink or anything? No, you don't smoke I or drink. Drink. A you little, drink a little, but uh, you don't smoke. No. Because you look wonderful. You have Virginia's noted for that skin, that beautiful skin. How do you keep that skin, that peaches cream skin? Virginia Mayo, always noted for that beautiful I skin. <laughs> Must be in your family, is that? I it? think it is. Yeah, my uh -huh. my mother had beautiful skin. Uh -huh. <clears throat> so Virginia Mayo, may I ask you a question? Yes. Is there a man in your life right now? Mr. Graham. Oh, is it? Oh, is he your man in your life? Okay. Yes. You won't tell, right, at the moment, or is he? Is he other than that, Mr. Graham. Oh, you're seeing each other. I see. Yes. How wonderful. A great deal. Oh, great. <laughs> so you go out together, I yes, see. Indeed. We go to all the Hollywood parties. What do you think of the Hollywood parties today, Virginia? I mean, well, uh, they have changed a little. What do you think today? I tell you, I've never been to a wild Hollywood party and in my life, maybe one that was a little. What do you mean by wild? Uh, well, like they do things like uh, take their clothes off. Oh, I see what you mean. Now, what you're talking about now. Yes, uh, yeah, those I kind see. of parties. Yeah, I'm right. sure they exist, but. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. I've never been to them. Have you? You, you have no. You have no. I'm not invited. You have no. Does that every Saturday, dear? That's that's you Hefner. Yes, that's you Hefner. He invites all the girls. No men go to there. Just all women. That's you Hefner's party every Saturday. That is his big well, thing here in Hollywood. He's noted oh. for that. You didn't know that, Virginia? No, I didn't. Oh, yes. Well, that's, that's well, you. Well, why doesn't he have any men come in? Well, he has men coming there, but uh, the girls can't bring a man. The men are invited, but the girls oh, the girls have to come tacky. by themselves. Did you know that? You knew that, didn't you? No, You're, I did not know that. I've been to Hugh Hefner's, but... Uh, at, these party, uh, at these parties no, no, on Saturday nights. No, no, that kind of party. No, yes, no, no, no. Yes. And at Saturday night parties at Hugh Hefner's, the girls cannot bring men there. They are, are only to bring other girlfriends. And the men have to come along And the also. men bring themselves, yes. Yeah, that's and correct. he likes He's to invited. watch them match up. Is that what he does? Evidently. I don't know. There's a man who wrote a book right now. I think uh, it's going to be out, and I think it's out now. Anyway, getting back to Virginia Mail, I want to say that uh, Hollywood, you're one of the glamorous ladies in Hollywood. Oh, thank you. And uh, thinking of Hollywood today, what do you think of Hollywood today, of Hollywood Boulevard, the seasons of Hollywood? Don't you think it's... Uh, Deteriorated? What do you think? Hollywood Boulevard, yes, definitely. It used to be very nice, didn't it? It used to be very nice. I even went shopping on Hollywood Boulevard. People did. Not Movie, stars. Movie stars did go shopping on Hollywood uh -huh. Boulevard years ago, mm -hmm. didn't they? 
But what, they just don't go there. How come? You, why don't the city take care of that a boulevard? Why don't they do something about that? I mean, you're a writer. You're a columnist. Why don't they do something about that? Well, it's the, merchants, the Chamber I of suppose. Commerce, I think. It, yes, the, the, the Chamber of Commerce would have to, to do it. Plus, the merchants would have to kick right. in a fee, and then they'd get the boulevard fixed up. Uh -huh. And it's just been infiltrated by, I think, people who are on drugs, mm -hmm. young runaway kids. Mm -hmm. It's not like it used to be. Virginia, do we have any good directors held here today? Like, you know. I don't know, because I haven't done any movies in ages. True. You know, so I, I can't really tell. Mm -hmm. So you don't know, really, basically, no. But you, and because you, you grew up with the great directors. Great yes, I had studio many, many directors. good directors. You weren't under, you were under stock contract or just a contract, a studio contract? You weren't studio, under studio contract. Studio They're, contract. Yeah, because at the time they had stocks, stock players. Is that how they had? Well, I wasn't like, a stock player. You weren't player. a stock player. No, no. I don't think Goldwyn had stock players. No, he didn't. He didn't, he didn't have, didn't. no. 20th Century had stock players. They had stock players. Yeah, so Barbara, Lawrence, Barbara Lawrence was a stock player, right? They did at Warner's, too, but I was, when I came to Warner Brothers, I had already been established as a star. Right, right, exactly. And Jack Warner, the first thing he ever said to me was, I've seen you in the movies. <laughs> Is that what he says? <laughs> <laughs> what was Betty Davis like? Did you ever meet Betty Davis? Mm, she's uh, very professional, you know. Uh -huh. She was rather hard to know because she, she was, was very much herself, you know. Very. I didn't really know her. You did. How about James Cagney, though? I must know. That's my. He's one of well, my. Well, I, I did work with him. Of James course. Cagney, right? What kind of man was James Cagney? Of Virginia? Mm, very professional. He'd come on the set and. Do his work, very good, very right. inspiring, you know. Right, right. And then uh, he would confer with the director a lot about things, uh -huh. things he wanted to add to and things he wanted to possibly change. Mm -hmm. And the director always listened to Jimmy because he had such good ideas. Mm -hmm. Oh, the director did listen to him? Oh, yes. I see. And, uh, of course, he was dynamic. You can't uh -huh. uh, argue with the fact that he was a powerhouse on the screen. Yes, he was. Jimmy was magnetic. I mean, many a scene I did with him was improved because of his presence. Ah, you know, being Cagney. Uh, right, he was exactly. Such a great actor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But tell me something. Do, do, do you ever see him? Do you ever yes, I saw him. He was here in town, boy, I'm a year and a half ago, maybe. And I saw him then. You did see him. him. You, mm -hmm. see, you see your old friends again, like Dana Andrews. You did a movie I've with Dana, him. didn't you? Uh huh. Which one's that? Uh, Best Years of Our Best Lives. Best Years of Our Lives. Um, and the man was Dana Andrews. A wonderful yes, person. Dana. He was so helpful to me in my yes, early days. Uh -huh. He would help me study scenes uh -huh. and work with the dramatic coach on a lot. Oh, he did? Oh, yes. He helped me so much. Uh -huh. That's why when I was asked to help Paul Newman, uh -huh. I said, this is it. I've got to help somebody else because I was helped by a good actor. Mm -hmm. So that's that's how come I had Do you ever see Paul Newman lately? Not Have you? very often, no. But he never forgot you, I bet. Oh, I don't know I that. I bet he never forgot <laughs> Virginia Mail. So? Doing a screen test with Virginia Mail coming to Hollywood. I, I never knew that. He was first leading lady. Yes, but you, that's he, right. He always says he hates that movie. Silver so Chalice is a great that. movie. He looked beautiful in that. I do. I think oh, so too. He, he looks beautiful. He hates that. that movie. It's a great movie. I think it's a great movie. He was so handsome. Why did he hate that movie? I don't know. I, I have no idea. Hmm. But he seems to like to play these tough, dirty guys. You know. Uh -huh. T-shirts and he loves to get down in the gutter. <laughs> you know, doesn't really. I never knew he, that. A lot of his films. He did you know? Did you know Paul? Uh, did you know? No, Paul? I don't know him at all. You know a lot of stars here in Hollywood. Well, I know a lot of stars, you? but I, he doesn't really live in Hollywood. You know, he lives no, he in the east. He lives in the east. Oh, and, does he and live? He's very he, seldom here. I didn't know Newman lived in. He lives in New York, does he? Back Connecticut, in the summer, I believe. Connecticut. West Connecticut. I think. Why does every pick every all the stars pick Connecticut? Why Connecticut? I know it's outside of New York, but why not New Jersey or? But why Connecticut? Uh, Virginia? I don't yeah. know. You never? Th I've never lived well, there. I know James Cagney. He lives up in New York State. He has a, a ranch in New a York State. Yeah, it's lovely up there, too. It's real lovely up there. And when you're raising a family, it's probably better to live away from, uh, you know, the hustle and bustle of a big metropolitan city. Mm -hmm. what, well, do you think, what do you think of uh, New York uh, today, Virginia? Often. You go, you go there often, do you? I avoid it, if possible. Do you really? Oh, yes. I think it's the greatest city in the world. It's exciting. It's just uh, you like you like the quietness of of uh, of San, I like San the, Fernando Valley. I like the rural life. I hate. Cities. Oh, you do. Yes. Oh, I see. And how about you, Lee? Well, I don't like New York because it's dirty and it's sleazy. Too, yeah. I find when I go there. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, I see. But you like LA, though. Oh, I like LA. Indeed, I do. <laughs> you don't think LA is sleazy or dirty or no? Not it's the size not. we see. It isn't. Uh -uh. No. Oh, I see. I see. It's livable. Oh, I see. <laughs> 
but Hollywood did. But tell me what you think of the change in Hollywood. You've been here a long time. What's the change in Hollywood? What have you seen? Well, it's change? changed a great deal, of Like course. what? Like what, Lee? Well, I've noticed even in covering the Hollywood scene, which is something I've been doing now for 24 years, right. I've seen many changes. At the time I started, the, the Hollywood studios had their own very important publicity departments. They did, didn't they? They, they did all their publicity. And they worked very hard with members of the press. And now they don't. Each uh, picture has its own unit publicist. Mm -hmm. And many times uh, actors will have their own publicity man. Mm -hmm. They do. That never used to happen. The studio was behind you and they made stars. Mm -hmm. big, yeah, you have to get your well own there. today. You have to get your own. Right. I don't think that's very unfair, don't you think? I think it yeah, is. Yeah, it is. It's very unfair. Yes. Yeah, because the studio should handle it. They don't bill stars today, do no, they? No, they don't do that. They don't do that today. Not anymore. Build. No. Bill stars. Why is that? Well, I think with the fall of the great moguls, mm -hmm. the fall, of the, fall of the studios, the way they fall of the studios, studio system by conglomerates. So Hollywood has really changed, hasn't it, Virginia? Greatly. Sadly, though, isn't it? It's, I think so. Yeah, because it's not. It's I thought it was much better back then. Uh, for everybody, you know, it was, it's a ha it was a happy time, because we had such fun making pictures. We were like big. Happy families. Yes, yes, yes. The same actors would be in the films, and you mm -hmm. had wonderful rapport. You used to be ready for another one when you're yeah, finished. You one, you're ready for another ready one, for right? Another one. Nowadays, an actress can mm -hmm. do a starring role and get good reviews, and then mm -hmm. she waits three years to get another part. Mm -hmm. You know, that's true. death to yeah. a career, career, especially a woman. Yeah. Yes, yes. You know, because the age, they get older and older. And we have a great actress out there right now. I must tell you, I love her. I think she's great, and I think she's that she's underestimated is Jessica Lange. Mm -hmm. I think she is. What do you think about well, her she career? got an Oscar. Yeah, but she's a lot of people are not, uh, she has an Oscar, but um, she's not noted as, you know, like Fonda or yet. You know, Jessica Lange is, uh, is, is, is a great motion picture. She's like a Kim Stanley. Like Kim Stanley's on notice too, you know. What do you think about that, Kim Stanley? You know, she's, people really don't, uh, Kim well, Stanley is a great actress. Mm -hmm. She's not out there. In, working all the time. She's teaching. Well, Jessica's very different, though. Yeah. But she's, she's much new, younger. And younger. she has a new movie, which she produced. Now, now she's country. Country. Hunter. Yeah, it's coming out. Country, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. Good. Anyway, I just want to plug her. I think she's a great actress. And I really want to thank you oh, thank for coming you. on the show. The time nice has gone really quickly. Yes, very fast. Thank you, Virginia Mail. Thank you. Thank you. You're a real true movie star. Thank, thank you Thank you. Much. And thank you, Lee Graham. Thank you. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank Virginia Mail for coming here this evening. And I also want to thank Lee Graham. Thank you very much, both of you. And don't forget about Lee Graham's wonderful book. It's called Hollywood Studio Magazine. You can get that any stand, is that right? Yes, but to clarify, now I'm not the publisher. I'm only the Hollywood editor. editor. My column runs in it, okay. Man About Town. Fine, right. A Man About Town, Lee Graham. And lovely Virginia Mail. This is Skippy Lowe. We have really been looking at Hollywood today. Thank you.